YouTube. Just a little update video on the 335. You can see, took off the little cover right there. And we about to install these bad boys. With this bad boy right here. Stage two um, of Argus Turbo TD04. Stage two. So yeah, I mean, ain't really a install video. It's just like, I don't know, get a, I guess a quick lapse. I got my buddy here gonna, gonna help me out. He's hot. And another friend that's coming over, which this is his house, but we're about to do this. We about to do some big power. So we are at the point where we can take out the per turbos, got the water pump out. My YouTube commander here. Here you go, sir. The tool hander. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to install the new turbos. I replaced the O-rings on the water lines and the oil feed, oil drain. Those are the old gaskets right there. They're pretty crusty. I already cleaned up the surface right here. Sort of clean. I guess I'll just record when they're up there already. All right, this is a new day. Basically day three. Um, we've been having trouble trying to figure out how the relocation kit goes. You already see we mounted the power steering um, reservoir to the alternator and this right here. And this we just figured out from photos we've seen online. The turbos are ready to go, ready for the inlets. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do run the inlets right now. Yep, I'm trying to contact the company that I bought the inlets from. See if they can send me a install, like an install manual for the inlets. Yeah. All right, so I ran the inlets. You see right there. Um, they look great. This has just been a, a little difficult. This right here holds the boost solenoids. That's the stock packet, right? Then, and um, this relocation kit brings a shield for the manifolds. And on that, you mount this plate right here and you can mount your boost solenoids. And well, like I said, there's no instructions. And I can't find like a YouTube video or anything like that on this brand. But this is how it looks right now. Looks really good. All right, got my charge pads right here with the back O2 sensors. I put on my, um, what you call it, the outlets. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. But yeah, about to put the down pipes on. And then I also have to put the O2 sensors on. Okay, I just said that I was gonna put, down, put on down pipes and as I was putting it on, um, I noticed that you have to put this, this um, engine, support here this mount so good thing i caught it and i also forgot to show uh, i got my water pump on and this is a brand new water pump because my failed like i don't know um a thousand miles ago this failed so i put a new one so it's way much easier to do it with um with the subframe out i'm just gonna take these pieces of tape off and all right so I got the situation here with the with those um little pump thingies right there or for the altitudes I don't know what those do but I deleted them I ran the you know the, these vacuum lines straight to these ones right here so you know front one goes to the front one right here and then the rear one goes to the rear boost solenoid got that done I cut this pipe right on this um, rubber piece and I made it go here and I was already test-fitting the bottom coolant hose and arm only supplied me with this one right here which is plastic 
it feels really cheap and i'm scared that i'm gonna break it putting on a clamp or it just will fail with time and this is not really that great like i need a straight one maybe two straight ones and a 90 degree one like that so i'm gonna go to home depot get some of those things these things right here and uh two little screws of these that i need for the heat shield and then i have to um figure out what to do with um this pcv system thing i have to put the sensor in here and then run that cable over here or extend it i also have to extend this cable just got back from home depot got this three quarters adapter with the hose they sent me i got another one right there just in case i need it in one of those so now i have to run from here where the stock location of cooling reservoir was to over there like this and i'm just gonna zip tie it to this ac line right here okay i ran ran it from the old location through here zip tied it on put this clamps on put the thing right there and now it's to the new location now i'm cutting the right here these wires and i'm gonna run it around here to there to a new to the new location here's a plug they provided me with this cable right here one thing if you buy this kit I've been fighting with this for a good minute. I couldn't put these on because this was the other way around, so like this. It goes these grooves right here go to the to the inlets. Cause they would just slip off. I couldn't put them on. I was there struggling. We got the inlets in. It looks pretty good. And uh, right now we're draining the the coolant because those reservoir actually hits my hood. So we're gonna try to reroute this line right here so it comes down lower and won't hit my hood anymore. But nonetheless, the cell frame is in, everything is in, everything is tight. We almost Gucci. Almost good, almost good. Look at this yes. Yo, DCT boys. Okay, so since we have no instructions, like I said earlier, our best idea was to run this thing right here to where stock location is so we can hook up the sensor and we wouldn't have any check engine lights. And we just, just push that in in there. This is here. We got coolant in, we got brand new oil in. And we disconnected these so we could just run oil to the turbos first. So yeah, we are gonna try this now. Ready? So this is a continuation of last week. We finished up the car and everything and we started right up. Sounded great and everything. You know, we thought everything was good. And then all of a sudden we look under the car and there's a huge puddle of water. I mean, oil. And right now I was checking, there was leaking water too. So, well, coolant. So right now I'm taking out the subframe. It sucks, you know thought that the car was gonna be good and now we basically have to well I have I have to take everything back apart and see what's up and see what I did wrong and order more parts. That's the game of cars. Also contacted um, Arm, the company that sold me the relocation kit. 
and they send me a link with the um, right instructions so in the instructions it said to cut this piece off right here this metal band and connect the straight radiator like here hose and then run it to here and um the rest i basically guessed it right so yeah okay This is um, basically the end result of everything. Just wanna show y'all what I did with the valve cover, you know, I cut it back here so this line right here could fit. That's for the PCV system. And this is my old catch can um, hose that basically use around, it goes to the PCV right here. I also extended this cable I also extended the other cable for the um, expansion tank. You know, this one, the radiator holes right here. And then this shroud right here it has some spacers I didn't know about, but it has some spacers right here and you bolt it up. Basically, that's it. The car has been running good for about two weeks already, but now the car is making like way much better part power or more power so i need to order injectors and i already did so they should come get here pretty soon but yeah stay tuned for more subscribe you know like share comment and thanks for watching